Welcome to the Telltale Texas Hold'em Tournament. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Ted. From Atlanta, Georgia, Harry Winehead. Thank you. From New York, New York, Boris Crinkle. <laughs> yeah. From Bowling Green, Kentucky, Grandma Shaky. Yay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I shall fold. I want those apples! Get out of the way! You should mind your manners. Look, I haven't eaten for hours! What's your point? This is a waste of time. Well, created the warehouse. Looks like the one our body was stuffed into. Maybe this is headquarters for a drug op. We need to find this warehouse. As a rule, I don't guess. But this looks very much like a bone fragment. Give me that cigar! Oof. Oh boy! I can't wait to show this to Thorn! She's gonna love it! Whoa! Oof. yoo -hoo. Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <coughs> ah, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Look at that critter. That'll put a smile on Grissom's face. See if you can catch it, without harming it, of course. <laughs> Smells like gasoline, but my nose is not a lab. We'll make sure. Seriously, you're under arrest. We're police. All the cops in the donut shop say, way ho. That's it! No one quotes walk like an Egyptian to me and lives! <laughs> Ding dong! Justice calling! You've got to help us! He'll kill us all! Now, nah, Max is harmless. Mostly. Not him! Santa! I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strongbad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. Let's see. Now, where should I put the track on my map? We're going to have to calm that one down if we're ever gonna roll this machine out of here. Elaine, here I come! Or, um, maybe not.
No, in fact, the marriage was not consummated at all, consensually or otherwise. Well, at least not last night. Say, Gramps, what can I do for you, gents? How about you let us come in, and we'll toss the baby over to you? No, sir. Baby's got to come to Grandpa all on her own, sir. And then Grandpa will tell her little stories and pinch her little fat cheeks. <laughs> Lord, help us. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Well, her bikini probably left no room for imagination, nor an ID, but I did collect her fingerprints and DNA for you. Oh, hey, you two. I just got back. What do you need? We found an unidentified female victim in one of the mud baths at the spa. Oh my god. Portia, no! You think you could take care of the king of town for me? I can assassinate king, yes. It's expensive, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa! If I take care of, I meant maybe you and I sneak into his room and shave off half his mustache. What do I do to convince Teen Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm not sure, but don't forget we're on a bit of a deadline here. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. Are shaking that tree. Ah, forget it. Just some birds. Okay, I see her. Wait, there's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. I need to ask you a few questions. You okay to talk? Yes. Believe it or not, I've seen worse. Let's start with an easy one. Can you tell me the victim's name? Maybe. I... It's... It's hard to remember. So many girls working here. Everybody always coming and going. Rachel Trevino. 27 years old. Lives at 600 East 5th Street. Over in the East Village, if I remember right. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I'll call. I'm full. I'm in. 
Jack? Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. It's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. There you are. Back! Get back! Stay behind me. Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Be honest. Oh, fuck Oak. What does he know? <sighs> You would get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. This is you. Fine. Just some bruises. Alright. Tough guy. Nice. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. Hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> These guys weren't in charge. 
Dor, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. I'll shut your damn mouth. One by one, you will beg for death. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. <sighs> Stupid zombie. You're ahead of schedule. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? We're here.